वेलकम बैक एवरी वन सो द लॉन्ग टर्म सर्विसिंग चैनल एल टी एस सी वर्जन ऑफ विंडोज इलेवन इज एपेरेंटली इन द वर्क एंड इज ऑफिशियली कमिंग लेटर दिस ईयर सो दिस वीडियो आई विल बी शोइंग यू दैट हाउ दिस विंडोज इलेवन लुक लाइक एंड हाउ लाइट इट इज एज कंपेयर टू अदर कस्टम आई एस ओ लाइक एटलस एंड टाइनी इलेवन सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट्स क्विकली गेट स्टार्टेड I will first start with the ISO size and Windows 11 LTSC size is around 4.3 GB that is quite low as compared to regular Windows 11 as Windows 11 ISO is around 6.3 GB and there is a difference of around 2 GB and now if I talk about the installation the installation process will be almost same and here you can see while installing you will be getting a screen like this that says select the operating system you want to install and here you will be getting three different option Windows 11 Enterprise LTSC, Windows 11 to T Enterprise LTSC, and Windows 11 to T Enterprise LTSC subscription. So here probably we have to go with the first edition that is Windows 11 Enterprise LTSC. So I will select it, then click on Next, and then we will be having the same installation process as we do on the Windows 11. Okay so finally Windows 11 LTSC Lite has been installed and you can see this kind of wallpaper and this kind of desktop on my desktop I only see the recycle bin icon and in the task bar I don't find the file explorer option and if I click on the windows icon here so you can see that there are only few application and if I click on all apps so these are the only application that are been installed and i can see that majority of the bloatware has been removed all right now if i bring up the windows version so let me show you so this is basically version 23h2 the windows 11 enterprise ltsc insider preview operating system but what i personally assume that once windows 11 ltsc will be released it will be coming with the version 24h2 And one more thing I would like to update you about Windows 11 LTSC Lite that probably it will not be getting all kind of feature and quality update but yes you will be getting all kind of security and bug update. And now let's talk about the disk usage that how much disk usage it consume. So right now I'm on my C drive I have not downloaded anything and if I make a right click on it go to properties it's around 18.5 gigabyte. and i really don't find too much of difference because windows 11 regular windows 11 also occupy the similar space so here again i don't find too much of difference and now if i bring up the task manager so see what kind of usage is been occupied here so if i go to the performance tab now here you can see the processes count is around 128 the threads are around 1300 the handle are around 52000 So yeah the utilization is low as compared to Windows 11 regular ISO but not too much as compared to the other custom ISO like Atlas and the Review OS. So this was a quick overview of Windows 11 LTSC guys and now let me give you my honest review for this ISO. I don't think this ISO will be for unsupported hardware as they have only debloated many kind of application to make it light weighted. So if you want to try any kind of light Windows 11 ISO that should be from Microsoft only and if you have any kind of mid level or a good configuration PC then you can surely go with this ISO in the future once it's been released but if you are on a, an old PC or unsupported hardware then probably according to me this ISO will not be suitable for you and you should go with any kind of custom ISO like Atlas and Review OS So that's all guys for today hopefully you found this video helpful if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye